It is day 22 of our 40 Days to Easter study, and today our scripture reading is from Mark 4, 37 through 41. In this passage, we find Jesus and his disciples on a boat with waves crashing and wind whirling all around them. And while these expert fishermen feared for their lives, Jesus slept. Havoc was literally pouring down around him, and he slept until a disciple woke him asking, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? And when he woke, he spoke to the wind and the waves saying, Quiet, be still. And then it was completely calm. What's important to notice here is the disciples' reaction to Jesus' miracle. Scripture says, They were terrified and asked each other, Who is this? You see, even the disciples, Jesus' most faithful followers, couldn't comprehend all that Christ was capable of. When he commanded the wind and waves, they were astonished. This begs a few questions about our lives. One, do we believe that Christ is capable of doing anything and everything? Or do we have limited faith in what he can do for us, in us and through us? You see, his authority, although fully believing Christ to be their savior, amazed the disciples. And that's the second question. Do you believe that Christ isn't only your savior, but also Lord of your life? The disciples asked, who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. But why wouldn't the waves and wind do exactly as Christ said after all? Everything in existence is only because he spoke it to be. But what about you personally? Maybe you've come to a place where you readily admit you need a savior. But have you humbled yourself, settled in your heart to make Christ Lord of your life? Meaning that he, the driving authority for every decision and thought you make or have. My prayer today is that we can turn over the control that we are holding on to in our lives and give the authority to Christ. For when we allow him to be not only our savior, but also our Lord. He can calm the storms in our lives. He can work miracles in us and around us. And he can be glorified through us and when we make his authority greater than our own. In your holy name, I pray all these things. 